welcome to Tempe, Arizona. Today we're heading over to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. I'm interested in seeing what this place looks like on the 4th of July, 2022. Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, as it's known, or Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, actually serves Central Arizona and is one of the largest airports in the Southwest. It's also an international terminal, so if you're looking to head to Canada or Mexico, you can actually fly straight into Phoenix Sky Harbor and then fly out from here. This airport serves a metropolitan area that's over 6 million people and is actually a hub for travel for all over Arizona. It's the largest airport, as I mentioned, in the state and one of the largest in the southwest and is a hub for travel for larger airlines like Southwest. See, as we pass the sign on the left, you can see the park and ride metro which is relatively new up on the left hand side just over the top of us and why this airport is so confusing is what you see right here where's the parking for terminal 4 signage wise i will say this airport kind of lacks up against other airports like mccarran lax and others as we pass under one of the terminals which are running along the top there they're built out in the open on the left you can see the parking structure on the right hand side for terminal four. Now we're gonna go past the lower level. And just kind of check out how busy it is. And right away you can see there just isn't a lot of traffic. The last time we were through here on spring break, and if you haven't checked that video out, please do. I'll put a link to it down below. But it was very busy. The waiting around the, the park and ride was packed, the lines were long, but I guess it makes sense because right now outside the temperature is roughly 108 degrees and the middle of July is just not a high season I guess for Arizona. I was thinking it would be busy though with people leaving so we'll head to uh, departures next and see what we can see there. That's the new or new-ish tower up above and we're going in uh, underneath one of the taxi runways. Sometimes you can drive under here and actually see planes going over the top. Hopefully we'll see one today. Up ahead is Terminal 3. This is the John McCain Terminal, named after the famous senator and veteran who spent a lot of time in the Senate and was also a POW. And uh, he's just really well regarded in the Southwest, in, in American politics, and considered a bit of a folk hero here in Arizona by many. Terminal 3 on the right, again, some traffic but not much. We've seen it way busier. Up on the left you'll start to see the new Park and Ride Metro hub which actually takes you out to the rental car area as well as some of the economy parking. This construction on the right seems to be closing down what would normally be a loop so you could come through Terminal 3, loop around, and head back in if you missed your turn. So let's take a chance to head up here and check out a couple of things that are interesting. First, on the right-hand side as we crest the hill, you're going to start to see the runway on the right. Now, during the pandemic, this runway was packed with planes. So all you saw was tail fins. And there's Phoenix off in the distance. Today, you can see there's no planes parked out there because they're all in use. The parking structure on the left is the economy parking. That used to be Terminal 2, but now there is no more Terminal 2. So now you can park over there and pay, I believe the current cost is $16 a day, which is actually up from 12 when they opened it. If you were to go right here, you could catch this to the main freeways or loop around and head back to the airport, as you can see a lot of cars doing. On the right and left is the cell phone lot where you can wait for your family if you don't want to pay and they text you when they land and you can go pick them up. We're going to turn around. You can see the metro continues down to the rental car area. We're heading back now. That's the cell phone lot on the right and we're going to head back now towards the airport. We're going to go by what was formerly Terminal 2 to check it out and see. I haven't been over here so we can just sort of see what we can see. I think I plan on coming over here at some point and getting on this tram and riding it all the way out to the rental car area and then back into the airport on the other side. I think it'd be fun. The lot is full on the left 
So that's something that I haven't seen before. That might suggest that the holiday travelers are actually not coming to Phoenix, but heading out. As you might imagine, getting away from the heat. You can see the nice path on the right hand side with lots of vegetation. That'll just grow and cactus will get bigger, the trees will get bigger, which will definitely provide some shade. And The construction has really changed the profile of this area. If you go back to one of my first videos on our channel, you can see how much construction actually took place and now just the outcome. It's pretty, pretty cool. More parking on the left hand side. The terminal is just over the hill on the right. This is where the employees would enter, also on the right-hand side. Let's loop around. There's your runway again in front of us in Camelback Mountain off in the distance. You can see the head. We'll head down to the main Terminal 3 and 4 and check out arrivals and departures. I love the view in the distance with Camelback out there on the left. And then that runway, one of the largest out there. Here comes the... Air traffic control tower, Piastoa Peak is off to the left as well, and then the economy parking is on the right again. And let's go check out departures and arrivals. The traffic over here is definitely more, and it seems like there's more rental cars out, which is odd, considering we just didn't see any traveler traffic down by the terminals. In front of us is the American and Alaskan section of the Terminal 3 airport. So you usually see a lot of those planes there, and there's one just on the left. There's the metro station up on the right-hand side. This is all new construction, happened in the last four or five years. And you can see there's road construction, which is, as I mentioned earlier, is cutting off traffic flow that used to happen. So here's Terminal 3. I love these, this side of the terminal because it's so modern looking, especially compared to the other side, as you saw earlier, which had more of that old school Phoenix feel. There's a lot of glass on this side and a lot of artistic license. On the left side, you see the cars. That's a flow through, so that would be you know, just really quick if you needed to come in or travel around. And this side, you'd be picking up and dropping off. Parking is just above us. And then the bus lines, if you, you cross traffic, catch those buses there and they would take you out to the rental cars. And the rental car place is almost three quarters of a mile away from the, where we are right now, west of us, which can get a little confusing. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should get the camera and film the Metro ride out from Terminal 4 and three out to the rental car area. I think it'd be cool, but let me know what you think. We're going under the taxi runway, heading east now. One of these times I'll catch a plane going over the top of us. Terminal four straight ahead. The thing I love about terminal four is that iconic spiral driveway that leads you to the parking straight ahead you can see that round parking structure it's really specific so bottom level this would be where you'd be picking people up luggage is on the inside on the bottom level that's where all your carousels are and this is terminal four main hub southwest airlines you also have American in here. United has some slots, but Southwest really dominates Terminal 4. Sky Harbor is one of the largest airports supporting Southwest Airlines in the Southwest. No pun intended. And again, we can see it's just not very busy. Not a lot of folks coming into Phoenix. Next stop, let's go check out the departures and see who's getting out of the heat. Let this guy in.
I'm going to take the quick way around. If I would have jumped off left, I could have headed out to 24th Street, as you can see. But we're going to go up and around. And this is one of my favorite little spots. As the oversized lot on the right-hand side goes by. And we go under one of the walkways in Terminal 4. You get a little elevation and you start to see tail fins of planes. And there's a southwest one on the right-hand side. You can see that metro line. There's Tempe off in the distance. If you wrap around, you'll see South Mountain. There's some more Southwest Plains just over the top. And now we're heading back towards Terminal 4. So my goal today was really to show you what lanes to stay in, what loops to be aware of, and it's working out beautifully. On the right hand side is that iconic spiral parking garage. This time let's shoot over and see what we can see. Up above that blue hallway, that is actually the walk over to the metro line I was talking about earlier that would take you to the rental car area. But there's been a lot of construction and a lot of improvements. Let's see if we can catch a plane driving around here, heading over that taxi runway. There we go, American Airlines heading from right to left in the screen. We're gonna go right under it, that's awesome. As we head to Rivals and Departures in the John McCain Terminal 3, today really wasn't busy, I expected it to be a lot more than we saw, but it's obvious that on July 4th, people are not coming to Phoenix to celebrate, and in fact, maybe heading out of town to just get out of this heat. Over the next couple weeks, we have predicted weather of anywhere between 111 and 114, depending on where you are in the valley. So I would imagine there's going to be a lot of people heading away from us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along on our tour of Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, Terminal 3, Terminal 4, and the new economy parking. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have a location that you'd like us to drive to, leave it in the comments below. I'll grab the camera and we'll head that way. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to Dewey's World, will you do me a favor and do that as well as click the like button and the bell? That'll keep you up to date on the latest from Dewey's World. These videos are so fun to make. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And thanks so much for coming out on this drive with me.